Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today's session. My name is Weston Lander, and I'm a Product Marketing Manager on the Microsoft Teams team. I'm joined today by Aditya Chalapali, a Senior Program Manager for Microsoft Teams. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. As Weston mentioned, I'm a Senior Product Manager on Microsoft Teams responsible for app templates. Today, we will be sharing with you an overview of how you can transform business processes and add value to your organization with no-code building blocks and app templates from Microsoft Teams. Satya recently said, we've seen two years worth of digital transformation in two months in, rela in relation to all of the disruption that we've seen in how people are working and how organizations have to change how they're operating in today's business environment. Organizations are always looking to improve how work gets done, make processes more efficient, and adapt to changing conditions. But the changes that companies have recently gone through are truly unprecedented. Microsoft has a number of solutions to help organizations navigate change and process modernization, including many approachable no-code solutions and templates to let people who aren't professional developers deploy solutions in Teams, which is where today people are coming together to get their work done. Microsoft Teams is a platform for teamwork that brings together chat, collaboration, meetings, calling, apps, and workflows. It's where many organizations and users are getting their work done today, especially when remote work is so prevalent. With over 5 billion meeting minutes in a single day and over 75 million daily active users, organizations are using Teams to keep moving forward. To start off, I'd like to share with you how Tasks and the Tasks app for Teams can help you and your colleagues stay on top of what needs to get done. You can view your tasks and share plans across Microsoft To Do, Microsoft Planner, all with Microsoft Tasks in Teams. Smart lists like Assigned to Me bring tasks together across shared plans to help you prioritize your tasks. You can manage large amounts of tasks in the new list view or in other powerful planner views like boards, charts, and schedules to keep getting things done. You can add tasks as a tab to, in a channel, and you can use that to get familiar with the planner tab experience with the new list view. Using Graph APIs and Power Automate to create new tasks, you can surface tasks created in other apps and or build task management workflows all that flow into Teams. And soon, you'll be able to target, publish, and track apps across your organization's first-line workforce as well. Next, I'd like to talk to you about how Microsoft Lists provides a useful platform to update processes, modernize those processes, and track information better across your team and your organization. Microsoft Lists is an M365 app within Teams that helps you track your information and organize your work. Lists are simple, smart, and flexible, so you can stay on top of what matters most to your teams. Track issues, track assets, track contact, contacts, whatever ma matters to you and your organization in a customizable view with smart rules to keep everyone notified and in sync. This includes, again, an integration with Power Automate to automate some of the processes that are associated with your lists. It's easy to get started with lists with ready-made templates that you can quickly start online or within Teams and then you can access on our new mobile app or within Microsoft Teams. And because it's part of M365, you know that with lists, you can rely on the enterprise grade security and compliance that you come to expect with Microsoft. I'm excited to share with you the new approvals app for Teams and the approvals integration completely with Teams. To get results faster, with, you can now use approvals in Microsoft Teams. It's easy to create, manage, share, and then act on approvals directly from within your hub for teamwork, Microsoft Teams. You can quickly start an approvals flow from the same place you send a chat. You can also use the new approvals app within Teams. It's easy within the context of a conversation to send an approvals request to your manager or to other people who you might need to have sign off on something that you have going on in your workplace. Whether you need written acknowledgement from your manager, formal authorization, what's important is all of these records are then kept 
and you have a record of all of the actions that were taken in an approvals process. You can attach files, you can add details uh, on what you need approved, and all of this brings richer information to the process flows that run your business. All of your approvals are seamlessly placed in Teams, and this includes approvals that are linked to third-party systems, including ServiceNow, Dynamics, GitHub, and many more. The approvals apps in Teams lets you see and manage all of your approvals in one place, even the ones created by you, and most importantly, the ones that are requ require your attention immediately. This new approvals app within Teams should streamline many of your processes that are critical to keeping your business running today. Now, I'd like to jump into Teams and show you some of these features that I was just telling you about and, and demonstrate how this changes how work can get done in a modern organization. Now I've jumped over into Teams, so you can see a little bit more about these new tools that I was talking about. First, I'll land in chat. This is where a lot of us spend a lot of our day. So if I go up here, I can see that I've actually sent an approvals request to my manager, Nestor. He'll get all of these details and he can see the details of the approval. This, here's a little bit about what I sent him. You can see that we have records of all of the information as part of the approvals process. I can also cancel the request if it's no longer necessary. A great thing about approvals is it keeps end-to-end -end records of all of the approvals requests made in your organization. So you can set formalized processes for approvals where maybe things were just done via word of mouth or via paper before. This greatly streamlines the process. So if I'm the manager in an industrial facility, I can easily go in and approve or reject some of the processes from my, some of the requests from my crews. So if we need, if Lydia here is asking for a new temperature gauge, she might not know that I already ordered some. So I'm going to reject this request. Just let her know these have already been ordered. And then she'll get a notification of this. I actually sent a request for some contractor support to my manager a little bit earlier, and hopefully he'll follow up with me. Oh, look at that. Nestor actually approved my new contractor request. This again was just sent in through a simple chat message. Let me show you how I did this. The great thing is approvals come as a message extension in Teams, not just the app. So if I have other things that I need to request, like time off or something like that, which we could all use a little bit of, I can easily do that right from within Teams. The great thing about this is it works in chat conversations like this. It also works in channel conversations. So if I had an approvals request that I wanted to include in a channel conversation, I can easily add that through the app here, including added, adding attachments like PDFs or other documents that you need to have reviewed as part of the approvals process. One of the wonderful things about approvals is that it's also connected to Power Automate. Another element that I told you about earlier was the lists. Lists are a great way to improve your processes overall and track information. So if we have new maintenance requests that we need at our production facility, I can easily track them in this beautiful list that I created a little bit earlier. Again, this is a no-code solution and built on SharePoint, so it's something that a lot of folks would be familiar with. You can embed images, you can provide conditional formatting, and all kinds of elements that will make your list richer and more engaging. The great thing about lists too, is that you can connect them to Power Automate. And those Power Automate uh, processes can include approvals. So if I want to create an approvals process, which I actually did for when someone adds a new maintenance request to this list, I can get that approval in my approvals app. Let me quickly show you the Power Automate flow that I built to, for this approvals process. You can see here that it's just a simple SharePoint list approvals flow that then you can go in and edit as much as you need to customize your process. This is starting to get more into low code than no code, but there's other sessions that you can attend to get a little more information on how to build flows. But what's important to know is those flows still land in the approvals app. 
which is your hub for approvals in Teams. Hopefully that provides you with a little bit of information on how you can use these low code tools to get started streamlining your processes. As you mentioned, I'll be talking about app templates for the next half of our session today. Templates are a great way to get started using Teams as a platform beyond chat and meetings. App templates are an easy way for you to reduce cost, increase employee engagement, and even, even increase revenue through Teams really quickly and easily. App templates are high impact and customizable apps for Teams. This graph is to show you where app templates sit in the Teams ecosystem. On the vertical axis is the time to realization, as in how much time does it take to deploy the app? On the horizontal axis is the ability to customize, as in how much can you edit the app to suit your company's process? Store apps on the bottom left are really easy to deploy as you can find them in the team store. However, they can't be customized. What you see is what you get, mostly. On the top right-hand corner, there are custom apps. This is stuff you can get with an SI to build for you, or you build yourselves out of Power Apps or with your own developers. This may take a bit of time, but are, high, are highly customizable. App templates sit right in the middle and combine the best of both worlds. There are a low-code, no-code solution that can be deployed right out of the box, but can also be customized. Some are built using Azure and some using Power Apps. Because of their structure, they are easy to use, simple to deploy, and free. They are stored on GitHub, and you can check out the full catalog by going to this ak.ms link below. You can grab the file off GitHub, save it in your tenant, and you're good to go. The benefits of this are really threefold. Number one, these are plug and play experiences. No coding is required to deploy the apps and no configuration is needed. So it's super easy to use. One click deployment, just save the file and you're good. All app templates include deployment guides that will allow you to host all necessary services in Microsoft Azure or CDS automatically. Number three, it's completely free. Just to tie that off, there are three other benefits we want to talk about about app templates that people may not fully consider initially. Number one, because the code is available on GitHub, it's not only customizable, it's extensible. You can customize it and build more on top apps and processes on top of it to and extend them to fit your unique needs. Number two, privacy and security development. You own the data and you own the configuration. You can do with it what you want. It's completely secure as all of the data is in your own tenant. Number three, detailed documentation and support. All app templates are accompanied by end-to-end -end documentation on solution architecture, deployment, configuration steps, as mentioned earlier. But these repositories are also monitored as well. So please report any issues you encounter by raising an issue on GitHub and the community will address them. In summary, App templates combine the best of custom apps and the best of 3P apps. You can completely customize the app for your flow, integrate it into your data storage, and it's completely free. Let's talk about how two companies deploy these free app templates to, have, to gain significant financial value. The first one I want to talk about is Vale. Vale is a great Brazilian multinational corporation engaged in metals and mining, and one of the largest logistics operators in Brazil. It's also the largest producer of iron ore in the world. So quite a big company. From their communication from headquarters to frontline workers, they were considering investing in WhatsApp Enterprise and instead used Company Communicator inside of Teams. Company Communicator is a really simple announcements app template that allows you to broadcast a message really easily to a large distributed team or group of specific roles. The key benefits that they noted to us in using Company Communicator were on the diverse functionality available inside of Teams coupled with the benefits of Company Communicator. We'll walk through some of these screenshots, screenshots shortly. It saved them significant amount of time and saved them cost and increased employee engagement significantly. They didn't have to spend days on crafting one small communication, and all that collaboration and communication happened inside of Teams. 
It also allowed them to segment the audience and specifically send it to types of workers, like a specific type of miner in a specific type of mine, which gave them flexibility well beyond other similar tools. So let's walk through an example of what that flow would look like with Vale. This is a general disclaimer that none of this content is associated with Vale. Once you want to send a message using Company Communicator, you can open up this task module and select the people that you want to send this to on the left-hand side. You can craft the message on the right and then continue to craft this message with editing the authoring detail, et cetera. And once you send the message, you can also view the results of who's received it, who has not. It can pop up in the Teams channel that the person belongs to, or it can appear in a person's personal chat bot. Wonderful. Let's dive into how another company called EPM used Company Communicator and another app to achieve significant financial value. EPM is a public utility company that provides metal in city in Colombia, water, gas, electricity, and other public services. They have around 13,000 employees. Their employees are distributed across the city, and the corporate office needed a way to communicate with all the employees extremely easily in a way that was familiar to frontline workers, messaging rather than email, and also find a way to decrease IT costs in servicing all of the employees' diverse equipment. They deployed two app templates to solve these problems, FAQ Plus and Company Communicator. We walked through Company Communicator earlier. FAQ Plus is a simple bot app template that can be configured extremely easily to answer questions. FAQ Plus was configured by the IT department with IT-related questions in Spanish and deployed to answer employee questions about their technical equipment. This saved the IT, helped us significant amount of time and cost in answering all these minor questions. Company Communicator they used to send and push these messages to the frontline workers and also to communicate really critical information around COVID, new guidelines or engagement with customers, et cetera, which saved them a significant amount of cost in having training, et cetera. And it also increased employee engagement because customer because employees could ask questions that they had with customers back through the chatbot. I want to showcase two app templates that we designed and built to grow your culture while people are working remotely. And to show you how you can access these app templates we've talked about so you can potentially achieve the same financial value in your organization. So the two app templates that I spoke about are in our app template catalog, the link for which you can find at the end of our presentation today. This app template catalog contains all of the app templates that we publish and that we're committed to publishing. You, you may see Company Communicator, which you may find familiar because those that's the one that our previous two companies that we showcased used to have financial impact. The two ones we want to talk about today are incentives and grow your skills. So I'm going to quickly click on incentives and get, provide a description. Incentives is an app template that we hope will grow your culture using change management and gamifying change management. Essentially, it provides incentives for people to do certain activities. And we really think that's going to be powerful, especially now when potentially people are disparate. So say you're really intrigued by this idea about gamifying game change management with one click of a button. How would you go about doing it? You'd go and click get it on GitHub. And that would open up the GitHub page for the app template for incentives. And we have here a description of the app template and steps to deploy. It's actually really quite easy to deploy. All you have to do is click on download code download the zip file, rename it to your organization, click deploy, and you're ready to go. What that looks like in a Teams tenant is something like this. You see the incentives apps here. I'll dismiss my notifications. And here you have it completely rendered. Obviously, we filled in some data, but it will show up like this with an overview of the rewards, your leadership board, et cetera. And you can go out in the admin tool, and you can go and create new 
activities, create new reward systems, et cetera. Because this is a power app, you can also go in and customize the flow to match what you or your organization needs. Now, let me talk about our second app template that we wanted to show, which is called Grow Your Skills. Now, Grow Your Skills, going back to the app template catalog, is also a culture management tool in a lot of ways, but focuses a lot more on learning. So creating projects that your employees can take, a part, can take part in, and your employees can also create projects for themselves, and gain new skills. So what that looks like in practice is something like this, where you have your grow demo, and you can name it whatever you want, as we mentioned, it's very customizable, as a chat, and it renders as a chat, a tab to view all the projects that your organization has created, your projects that potentially you've created or joined, and the skills you've acquired. And you can also chat with the bot here to answer questions about the skills you've gained, to create projects, and to engage in just a general exploration of all the projects available. Just to click on one tab, just to show you really quickly what this may look like. Is here you can find a list of projects in the organization. You can find the ones that are closed, active, etc. And that's the demo of the two app templates in terms of how you can find them, deploy them, and use them. Back to US. Thanks, Aditya. It was awesome to see those templates coming together and how our customers are starting to use those. If you would like more information on how to get started with app templates or some of the no-code solutions that I showed you earlier today, check out some of these resources at the links above. Also, if you'd like more information and some more uh, of these sessions, please go ahead and check out some of the other sessions that you can find at these links. Thank you for joining us today. We really hope you learned about using Teams as a platform with app templates and no-code solutions. Have a wonderful day.